Hello, welcome to another episode of New Gameplay Today. I'm your host, Jeff Cork, joined by Leo Vader. We finally got you here, buddy. How's it going? Great. I'm glad to have you back, Jeff Cork. I'm glad to be back. And we've also got Dan Tack. Hello, everyone. What are we playing? This is Fable Fortune, the latest in the Fable franchise. And that card at the bottom says ass, but I think that's just because it part does. of it is But I obscured. think that might be... Okay, never mind. False alarm. Mm. The Let glass ass. blower. They're not the ass blower. Okay. <laughs> so we, look at it. We've already started something very different than our card games. We picked a quest at the beginning of the game. Okay. Which we'll be working on as we progress that will change our morality over the course of the game. Very interesting. Now, all I know about this game is it's a card game. And it I is saw a digital card game. I free to play, yeah? cross play, Xbox, and PC. Launches uh -huh. on Thursday. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you <laughs> yeah, next let's time. just get the let's get the you know the meat out there. Yeah, first. yeah, yeah. So I saw a press release for this Whoa, though, and it said that this is set in the iconic Fable universe. The iconic Fable, which universe. I thought, don't you recognize is, it? Is the word iconic lost all meaning now? Would you agree <laughs> or disagree? Uh, I would attack? agree with that. I don't know if the Fable universe is iconic. Now, I got to admit, I've been playing some of this game, and I do enjoy it, but mm -hmm. I will never call the Fable universe iconic. It's well, sort the, of just a a fantasy universe. The you know? Fable universe, you've got. Jack of Blades, uh, <laughs> uh, some kind of uh, chicken that you can oh, kick. Oh, there's chickens. Oh, boy. There are One of the cool things about this card game that really separates itself from the rest uh -huh. of the pack is that there are squirrels, there yeah. are chickens, there are yeah. pigs, yeah. you know, all dogs, all manner of wild animal. <laughs> and don't think I didn't catch that, that cool joke you just made there when you said the rest of the pack, Dan Tag. It was pretty Very good, wasn't nice. it? I, I'm pretty subtle. All right, so, back in the box. So we've talked over this enough. What is going on? Right now, we've just started a match. Okay. Um, I am playing as the alchemist, mm -hmm. so I get things with potions. So I make sort of random potions, and every class is very different, just like okay. they are in a lot of other card games, and they have special cards that only they can play. So I'm working on my quest right now. I'm one point into it, as you can see from that little flag over my treasure chest. Okay. I get one coin a turn, very similar to systems where you get one extra mana a turn, like okay. Hearthstone or Elder Scrolls Legends, mm -hmm. up to a maximum of 10. So this guy is going to come out. He's going to put that up, my counter up again. We'll, uh, we'll kind of pause when we do trigger that to show you how the morality system works. Hmm. Okay. And we'll do that now, actually, except I don't have a card in my hand that works off it. So we'll move right along. All Classic. Right. So I'm starting the board. I got 26 health. He's got mm -hmm. 30 health. My units can attack, you know. I can make them block. Unlike other card games, they mm -hmm. don't come with block, most units. Mm -hmm. But for one mana a turn, I can put a unit into block mode. Okay, now at the beginning, I have to admit, Dantec, I was more focused on my sweet jokes than actually paying attention to what you were doing. So what's this quest you accepted? We're about to do it. You're about to do it, so you have and not done... changed with the season, so play three units with health greater uh, than strength. I'm going to play my third unit right here, the crazy cat lady. Okay. Zero two. Uh -huh. But guess what? Three cats as well. Ah. It's going to trigger my... Quest condition. Okay. I completed the quest. So now, ah. I choose to be good or evil. Hey, Fable. Okay. <laughs> so if I pick good, uh -huh. my my hero power, very mm -hmm. similar to hero power in, say, Hearthstone, yeah. costs two mana, does a thing. This will add uh, a potion to my hand. This makes better potions if I pick good. If I pick evil, I get mm -hmm. to pick the potion I want instead. So basically, the choice being presented here is to help the farmer and his family or to cause... Uh, Ruin to their to their right. famine. Sure, I don't know. What and there means. are other implications besides just changing my hero power. Uh, I don't have any in my hand, but yeah. there are cards that rely on the morality system to function. Okay. So let's say a card could be a five five for five. But if I play it when I have two points of morality, it will do something different in either direction. Okay. So let's say the evil one. If I was if I was evil when it came into play, it could kill a unit. If mm -hmm. I was good when it came into play, it would buff all my units. That's ah. not an actual card. Right. Just sort of how the system works. Okay. Hmm. Oh, no. Yeah, one cat down. So now here's... I got a quest again for my second point of morality. You can get up to three. Okay. Uh, we're going to do... This deck is designed around putting stuff out for the farm. Okay. And everybody has ac ac access to the same quests. Is that right? Correct. During each season, the quest will change. So you can actually... Mm -hmm. The metagame shifts based on the quests that are available. So hmm. when, you have that, when you have that additional layer, how does that affect playing another person because they're ostensibly they're playing doing their th own quests right they're doing their own quests but some of those ostensibly would have them do things that don't necessarily mean attacking you because they're trying to fulfill those conditions as well right? you, you know you can build your deck around the quest to get uh -huh. the morality points you could completely ignore the entire morality system and f forget morality okay not even a thing you have to do if you just want to build a, b a bandit deck for instance uh-huh do your thing 
Okay. So that's your option. Hmm. Now, I've chosen to go questy with this deck because I've got a few cards in here mm -hmm. that really benefit from the enhanced vials. I'm going to play one next turn. Okay. And there's some chickens there because you're dizzy. Yeah, we're on the farm. Down on the farm. Mm -hmm. Bob Evans. Yep. You know, man, I could go for a stack of pancakes right now. Can you interact with things on the screen, Dan Tag? You cannot. You can't click on a tried. pumpkin? I have tried desperately. Aww. Hopefully that changes. Let's copy Hearthstone, but not take the best part. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> exactly. I didn't say that. Leo said that. <laughs> yeah. So here's a, this is a cool uh, alchemist card. Uh -huh. Every time I play a potion on this guy, mm -hmm. it summons an ooze that gets the same effects as the potion. Okay. So we're going to put him out. Uh -huh. We're going to use my ability to craft an enhanced potion. Right. Gives plus two strength. I put that on him. Boom. We're going to get a free ooze with the uh -huh. same effect. Uh, nice. Now he One can get really I nasty in a hurry, so I'm yeah. I think my opponent nice. will probably kill him in short order. My we'll opponent see. is playing the Crimson, so the Crimson has lots of direct damage spells. They have access to... Um, kind of a roguey type thing? Is that what's going on? I, I wouldn't I, say... Ro yeah, access to... I, I, I see a hood, so that's what I assume. Yeah, I wouldn't say a mage exactly. Uh -huh. Sort of. I don't know if it has an Anagolus class, but... Okay. But some funky stuff is going on. Is I, I think I'm saying. more of the mage, actually. The okay. alchemist. The alchemist, okay. So he put out something very non-threatening. We're just going to clean up... Make sure we keep Leech alive because he's going to offer me lots of value. Uh huh. Yeah. With those oozes over the course of the game. Yeah. We're going to make him monstrous. Uh, is it possible your opponent has a card that will just kill that guy yeah. no matter what his power is? Uh, I know that they're playing the uh, the shapeshifter, so they have a card that does eight damage. I don't know if they have an instant kill spell. Mm. So I think we're in good shape, and I'll yeah. make it so my uh, I have one I have enough gold left over to do basically nothing. Uh huh. I already used my hero power, but I can give guard right. So just in case he has a unit that comes out swinging, I'll put my ooze in a guard mode. And that's nice. the equivalent of like hit. a taunt. Yes, exactly okay. correct. Cool. Except again, in this game, you have to sort of activate the taunt unless you've got a card. Very rarely that mm -hmm. will come into play with taunt, but they go away after every turn. Hmm. So it's not a permanent thing. Right. You actually have to pay for that sort of service protection. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, that's one round. You guys want to play another one? I sure. would love really to. Really quick. Uh, let me see if I can get some morality things going in the next round. Yeah. Cool. Should we check out some of the other things going on back end, like the deck we sure construction? Can. Would you Does like that, to? Does that make sense? Would you like to? There's also co op. I don't think anybody's playing it right now, yeah. but yeah. when the game launches, that'll be cool. Um, yeah, I think it'd be cool to show off the card. Well, let's do yeah. that. Let's do that and Collection. then maybe another match. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. All right. I like so, what we're doing here. Here's our card box. All right. So everybody starts with basic decks for every class. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you can edit, edit and make your own. Mm -hmm. uh, the basic decks sort of give you a sort of tell you how the style the, the thing plays, which is really cool. The knight, right. sort of the. Uh, he creates lots of minions and buffs them up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, are there like shiny variants and all that yes, business? Yes, they're called oh. fancy. Fancy. Oh. Yes. <laughs> the grave digger excels obviously at graveyard mechanics, Naturally. bringing stuff back. Stuff comes back to life. The shapeshifter, I said, like I, I haven't really figured out what they're. They do. They do really good direct damage. So mm -hmm. They're really good at killing the opponent without using troops. I is, guess. Is okay. that rally the troops card fancy? Is that that nice is yes. Blue? You're seeing that. That is a fancy rally the troops. Oh my oh, lord! A little glowy. A merchant is sort of interesting, sort of focused on massive re resource acquisition. Mm -hmm. It can make gold coins, gets lots of resources quickly to push out really big units. Okay. Uh, the alchemist we just saw focuses on potions, buffs, debuffs. Then you got the prophet, which is mm -hmm. uh, very similar sort of to the priest in Hearthstone. Lots so, of heals. Dan Tech, you led with the alchemist. Is it safe to say the alchemist is your all-time favorite? It is not. Oh. <gasps> I believe the knight is my favorite because really? I, like, I like his barnyard mechanics. I like the pigs. Uh -huh. I like the dogs. <laughs> I like, oh, I like the roosters, the yeah. chickens. You are like prime fable consumer there. Yeah. If you're into that <laughs> stuff, my friend. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're a regular chicken so you, chaser. You earn packs at a pretty good clip. And yeah. I'm pretty happy about that. So, And you get daily quests and all that kind of thing. Uh -huh. And it's fairly easy to get into competitive play, uh -huh. I, I found. That may change again as... Tons more people get into the game, but you've still right. you've got solo stuff to do. You've got co-op challenges. You can get resources to craft cards. Very similar to other card games. You can disenchant extra cards to make mm. resources to make more. Okay. And now at the time of this recording, this is not widely live. So Correct. we're going to kind of edit some of the load times when you're going into the match because that might take a second. But before we get to that point, what are, is there anything interesting that kind of happens beforehand like so you can see the quest for oakfield which ends tomorrow so these quests will be completely different when the game goes live most likely unless they keep them the same wow. um tomorrow 
when the game launches mm -hmm. to free to play on both Xbox and PC. So you can see if you want, as we were saying, you can build your deck around these. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, play three units with greater health and strength. That's what I sort of have built my decks around for this yeah. season. Play two spells that cost four or more. Mm -hmm. Sort of good if you're going for a castery build. Or play two units with safeguard. So they come in with guard. Right. So those are all the different quests that you can do. And then they earn you special stuff during the course of the game as well as giving you that essential morality point if you include morality cards in your deck. Mm -hmm. Let's go. You want to go look at some morality cards? I would love to. Have there, has there been a situation where none of the uh, quests apply to the particular deck you've constructed or has it been pretty generous so far? I mean, yeah, you, you kind of want to know that going in. Like when you look at the season quests, mm -hmm. again, not all decks. Yeah. But most of the time, you're going to want to be able to achieve your quest. Maybe tweak a few things, even if your deck is like, I've got the best deck ever. Right. That's you might want to change said. a few things around just to, in case you make, to fulfill those requirements. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at some morality cards here real quick before we jump in. Hmm. They usually have a little higher casting costs because they're not going to come in. They're not going to be relevant until later in the game when your morality has changed. Hey, Leo, you getting getting a gander in all these uh, fancy cards? I've wow. got some fancies. I got it. Uh, I've been playing. Like I said, I'm yeah. not. I've got like over thirty hours in this game. Yeah. Um, you literally don't sleep. Is there like a? And I a, sort of like I. You know, I was like, oh. Fable. Yeah. Huh. I can't. Okay. And then uh, I, I really do like the... Here we go. This is a good example. The Restless Spirit. Mm -hmm. If I go evil, I get a random unit in my hand when I play it. If I go good, I get a random spell in my hand when I play it. Ah. So that's not really like, oh, situational. I mean, right. You don't know what you're going to get. But a lot of the other ones are. Okay. So mm -hmm. let's keep let's keep going around here until we find some. Now, now is there a higher rarity tier above fancy? Or is well, fancy, fa fancy as good is, as it gets? Fancy is like foil. Right, right, so right. Not, it doesn't actually change the rarity of the card. Okay, is there a special, uh, like... Like, I think... The, I, okay, I, I don't actually know. I think gold is the second rarest and red is the rarest. Okay. I, I think. But uh, as far as visual effects, fancy is as good as it gets. This yes. Is very important to me. That, is, that is as far as I know. Okay. Leo, so you this, were This is a really something. rare card. Like, this one, every time I give it guard, I get a random enemy unit that died this game right in, in the play. So that's mm. really good. Yeah. He's kind of weak, though. Like, easy to take out with five health, so. Dantec, I was wondering if uh, you pick your morality choices based on what's best in the situation or if you're always good because mm. you're You good do. Here's man. a good example. So, let's say I'm playing my undead deck, right? Yep. And I've got this guy. So, if I'm playing an aggressive deck where the situation calls for it and I've got tons of stuff on the board, I'll make the Crypt Reaper who has Rush, so we can attack the turn he comes out, and he gets one strength for every other friendly unit. So if I got a full board, this guy can come in and swing for seven or eight on the first turn he's in play, secretly, like, like just for massive damage. If I'm sort of on defensive, I'll go good and make the Crypt Baron mm. and give him guard. Anything that he touches, he kills. Okay. So depending on where I'm at in the game, whether I'm on the offense or the defense, yeah. will dictate which Crypt Ghoul I play. Yeah. Uh, uh, another really great example here, the Timber Guardian. Mm -hmm. So if the enemy's stacking, uh, he's been you know gathering lots of little small units on the board, mm -hmm. I'll go dark and I'll deal one damage to an enemy unit and all of its adjacent units, ah. a couple of little, little guys. If he's going, if I'm on the offense, uh, I'll take the other side and just kill the guy because maybe he's hiding. Remove guard all enemy units from guard and then I'll get my big swing in and win the game. Okay. So yeah, it does depend. A prison Jailer, another good example. Like all these, this one also requires morality too. So you'll notice they have morality requirements, morality one, morality two, or crazy, morality three. Mm -hmm. And that will require what tier of morality you've got to be at. So you'd have to complete two quests to trigger morality two. Yeah. And generally, the strong, the more morality it requires, the more powerful the effect, uh, as it would dictate. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Let's get back into it. Let's get back into it. But I think that's a really good way to differentiate, because a lot of this stuff does look similar to other CCGs. So mm -hmm. those are some of the big differences. Okay. And like we said, we're going to kind of skip past the matchmaking because right now it's not representative. You, know, of you never know. We might get a match right away. Yeah. Nope. All right. Now we're in a match and we should say real quick that we did tinker with the settings. We may or may not have been playing in 720p. Before. We were playing at some low resolution there. We are yeah. playing on the, the classic Game Informer game PC. Yes. And uh, <laughs> the settings were not changed correctly on there. Yeah. This I PC does not think highly of itself. It really doesn't. Yeah, it's probably Kyle Hilliard. So it might look a little better now. We're going to still help on the farm. All right. And Is now we have different abilities with our awesome knight. I wonder if this is the same person. I think it is. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, I've had situations, like in early access, yeah. I've had situations where I've played the same person pretty much for hours. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and that, again, I'm, I'm assuming that the free-to-play launch will will add a lot of more people to the pot. Uh, particularly once, like I would imagine, 
Xbox players Correct. would be super thrilled to be playing a CCG. And it is cross-platform. Cross-platform. That's cool. Go. I feel like there are nearly no games that do that. I have played against an insane Xbox player the other day. Like, every single card in his deck was fancy. Really? It was really scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a Hearthstone he when you see the people with like the glowing hero back because they've won 500 matches. Oh, I've got that. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, Leo. It doesn't Jeez. mean anything. Keep the program. I've got that. I gotta, so is there any way <laughs> you can interact with the player? Like, say, well played? Yes, or? they do have that. <gasps> All right. And they're pretty funny, too. So you, you, okay, good. I was going to say, if it literally just <laughs> oh, says look at that. joke. Who let the hogs out? Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> they have dogs in this universe as well, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's the fact that I've got dogs in this deck. That I, call, I think his name is like Master of the Bacon. Uh -huh. He's a good one. Epic. This is a game for dads by dads. <laughs> <laughs> so we started out our like little, you know, this guy gets lots of knights and little knighty things. Here's an example of a morality card. Okay. Uh, he's morality two, so it's going to take some work to get to it. But as you can see, very different in what he does. Yeah. There are kernels in this world, in the Fable universe. Yeah. And of course, like as I do my quest, it's going to change my ability. I can go like evil barbarian raider mm -hmm. or good hearted marshal. Hmm. My hand is not amazing, by the way, at this time. But my opponent looks like they're struggling, so that's so. <laughs> that's a good sign. It is a very good sign. Do they have any? Uh, I mean, can you get married? <laughs> oh, that's a great question, Leo. I don't think so. Dang it! Can you carve your name on the field and then come back years later <laughs> and it's still there? <laughs> Uh, only in the advanced version of the game. Oh, fantastic. Mm. Does Peter Molyneux have anything to do with this? Uh, I doubt that. <laughs> I would also doubt it. But I just, I mean, I just noticed the trees in the background are growing in real time, so I thought I'd have Oh, you know what? I've never noticed that. Yeah. Are you serious? Yep, they're growing in real time. I don't believe it. <laughs> as fast as they're growing in real life. Come back in 40 years. <laughs> I don't believe you. Hey, that's exclusive gaming info. Oh, no. Oh, okay, that doesn't do anything. He's just playing a unit. Okay. This guy's really good with the night decks. Basically, okay. every time I summon a little guy, it gets way strong when that guy's out. But I want to kind of make sure he's protected, so. Yeah. What? I don't see any heroes doing this sort of thing. Huh. That's very good, Dan Tech. Yeah. Secret skill set. That's right. Nobody knows about that one. Yeah. I do voices at parties. Do you find this game to be well balanced? Oh, that's oh, a good gosh. question. I think I'm way too early in the competitive game. Like, I don't know what the end game meta looks like at all. Sure. Yeah. So that part, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if anybody does. I'm sure there are the people that do, like mm -hmm. at the top end, but I, I can't attest to that in either direction at this point. Sure. All right, we're gonna get the battler going. This guy, this guy has to be yeah. killed immediately. Otherwise, every peasant I summon, yeah, is three two, which oh is my just, God. like really good value. That's monstrous. Don't you feel bad about playing a card like yeah. that? I mean, he's really he's actually pretty weak for four. Like a 3-3 three, three for four in this game is really weak. Yeah. Okay. So the distribution of free packs, how generous is it? Very. Like, really? I have, I, okay, I don't, I can't speak for sure, but like, I think you can just keep playing and earning. Okay. I've never reached the point where it's like, you've earned too much today. Hey, they killed Come back guys. tomorrow. That's okay. We'll take care of this and guy. And you've got daily quests. And you stuff? have daily quests to help it with that as well. Mm -hmm. And is there like a campaign? I didn't notice you you mentioned there is, co op. But you know what? I haven't done anything with it. Ah. Uh, train a lazy pet. Oh, yeah, we'll do that one. <gasps> Damn tech. We've gone evil. And we can now when we All summon our peasants, here. we get to pick which kind of peasant we want. Uh-huh. So cool. this one gets guard at the start of my turn. Yeah. This one gets two strength during my opponent's turn. Mm -hmm. And this one's just a two-one. Yeah. All, all good situational choices. What yeah. for this situation though? We'll just yeah, just we're going all out. All right, you know, just damage. Yeah, use full damage. I like that it changes the appearance of your guy. Don't yes, I? It's, I believe it changes what he says too. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what an evil joke! Yeah, he's so mean. <laughs> Can't you guys see how mean he is? Cuts right to the quick. <laughs> <laughs> My God! Now they have just changed too. So good morality oh, over there. That's awesome. A classic good versus evil battle. That's right. And now notice now, here's where it gets really cool. All right. Let's say I complete my next quest and I want to go good. Yeah. I can do that. Really? So swap my morality so I can uh, it can change halfway through the uh, match. Redemption. Shades of gray. Yeah. <laughs> Shades of gray. Exactly. <laughs> will it put you back to normal or will it make you the good knight? It'll make me the good. Wow. Uh, so you because can swap, he overcame. You can swap midway. That's great. All right. We're going to... I hate to play this guy without getting his ability the same turn, but we're kind of in a situation where we have to. So every time I give that guy guard, I get to draw a card. Uh-huh. 
So he's very expensive for eight, but you can really get some big card advantage on an empty table. Hmm. He's never going to let it live, though. <laughs> no? I don't think so. Oh, he just played a big boy. Big boy alert. Like yeah. just, he doesn't do anything. He's just big a boy big, season. big boy. Henchman. Who could forget uh, the, the, iconic, the fable henchman. The iconic fable henchman. <laughs> boy, I spent hours fighting that one. That's one thing I gotta say. Like, I never feel like it's like, oh, I remember that guy. Yeah. <laughs> what would we remember if we saw? If what would a card have to be named for us to say, oh yeah, from Fable? <laughs> How about that weird multiplayer orb from Fable Two? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Is there a dog called the Dog from the Fable Two? There's yeah. Master of the Bacon. He's the Is dog. That, was that the name of the dog in Fable Two? I uh, I don't know. It might have been. I think you could. That's name what it. I named him. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, is there like a buff where you uh, conceive a child? Wow. Or something? If there is, I haven't found that yet. Can it must be it? a really rare card. Conception. You're so narty. Remember that from Fable, guys? Scream and go black and your wife would say you're so narty? Yeah. Who could Man, all those classic Fable melodies that I forgot. <laughs> yeah. That's what I like about Fable universes. There are no deep cuts because everything rises to the surface. Right. That's right. Everything okay, shines. So yeah, we got a situation here. Yeah, what do you have to deal with that guy? Is there a card much. you're hoping to draw right now? Uh, the knight doesn't have like an auto kill card like some of the other cards do, like some of the other classes do. I'd love to get it. Hmm. Um, I'm in a bad spot here. You gotta rely on your tactics here, buddy. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not going to tell you what I would do. Yeah, all right, well. <laughs> and don't ask me. I'll try to figure <laughs> it out. <laughs> Please, whatever you do. <laughs> you can cut this out, Leo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you got it. Can't so rush. I my quest, and now based on the situation, yeah, I need a big guard character, so <gasps> I'm actually going to switch to good. Ah, look at that! Hey, we don't have to fight. We're both good. This guy doesn't stand for anything. <laughs> and now I I got an extra card with that, so I can pick one of these spells. You're flip flopping, Dantac. This seems like it could be really useful. Yeah. Yeah. These other ones might. Uh, yeah. So you'd want to play that at the end of your turn. After yeah, you after everybody. I after I run into him with everything. Yeah, that's yeah, that'd be great. So I'll give guard to my cat lady so she takes a hit. Mm -hmm. Smart. And then we're just gonna pass, I think. Man. Yeah. Not a great situation though. It's still, he's got all the opportunity here. Uh, it's still anybody's huge. game though, Dan. That's it really true. depends what he's holding. It's true. <laughs> we're gonna find out. Like if he can clean my board out here, then I'm done. And to yeah. be fair, it is pretty easy to clean out a bunch of kitties. He already spent his deal four damage to everybody, though, which is what would... He's got lots... Like like I said, that class has all kinds of access to damage spells. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely concerned, but they are thinking. So that's a good thing. That's always a good sign. Tell a cool joke. Here you go. Boom! Oh, boy. L look no further for your dad jokes. There. I think there. We've, we've hit third grade here. <laughs> <laughs> which, a different level. Of, yeah. That's definitely a third grade Can approach. Can I get a hang in there? You can, just a second. <laughs> <laughs> She's brutal. All right, let's get a hang in there. Uh, <laughs> Do people only ever use that sarcastically? Uh, generally, yeah, they, they spam it, like, you know, yeah. like you do in Hearthstone. Yeah. How else could you interpret that? Like, Leo. They took out Sorry from Hearthstone, right? That's the one that people spam. I um, used to use that one genuinely. And I was sad when so this turn out. we got to do something cool. We can, we can do the thing where we resurrect all of our guys after we sacrifice them. So yeah. we're gonna do that. That's gonna be good. That's gonna be big. All right. So this one I gotta, I'm gonna have a six potential. Okay, check this out. All right. Check it. Give me a beat. Pretty kitty alert. Over there. Okay. And now I got. Uh, he's gotta go last. The baby makes two. The baby <laughs> makes two. <laughs> Come to Papa. Here we go. A clean that, kill. And now... That is beautiful. Oh! Now what? Now they can Crimson. see. Crimson. Now that was that was what we call a big play. That was a big play. <laughs> the crowd would be going wild right now. And we got all that because that was a quest we, you know, we completed that quest mm -hmm. to get that card that found us that card. Yes. Yeah. We were lucky that it provided us with a situationally extremely useful spell. Yeah, that's cool. Preserve your board superiority. Yes. Very good to keep. This guy is a great guy to have on the board, especially when you've got a horde of cats. <laughs> <laughs> That's this one. What? 
Which one is Are You Lost, little one? I don't know. Well, I don't know. He's, he's hitting his own buttons. Oh. <laughs> we don't know what's going on. This is where they can see it, right? Ooh, good move is always going to be <laughs> yeah. fantastic. There's no way around that. You know, it's funny. They always put in, put in measures where you can't, you know, say horrible things to your opponent, but people still find ways. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the sound effects, though. They're very Fable. Yep. I assume. Here's a, a Fable sound effect for you. I love cows. They're utterly daft creatures. Yep. That's just classic Fable. I'm, I'm really hoping there's a cow unit as well. Oh, he's really desperate if he... That's had, an odd choice. But. He hit one unit to draw yeah. one card. He's in, he's in trouble. Yeah. yeah. Bring it home, Dan Tack. We're going to try. But then... <gasps> yeah, that was... He's in real danger if that's his, uh, if that's his big play. Nice. Throw a pitchfork at that guy. Uh, Kitten mittens down this one. Boom. And now we're going Blam. in. Blam. Now we're going in big time. Blammy. Pooey. And now we're going to establish clear board superiority here. Yeah. Um, tacking on him. You ever say tacking on him? This dude is just monstrous now that I got two morality. He's going to come in. Yeah. Huge and with guard. Get out of here. And check this out. I'm with my martial form, remember how I used to get to pick a peasant? Mm -hmm. Now instead, when I summon a peasant, a unit with guard gets plus one, plus one. Hmm. So he's already got guard. I don't have to pay for it, and he's going to get bonused. Let's get see that big up. concede, baby. Yeah, he's he's in, he's dead. <laughs> I don't think that that class has anything that can wipe my whole board. He could you never do know. like four units to everything. They have that card. Yeah, but that's That would enough. still put him in a very precarious position. But you wouldn't have lethal. Uh, I, I would have lethal. I'm going to spend this card on my other dude. <gasps> so that will... Even if just this guy lives, mm -hmm. he's oh, going right, to hit yeah. for 12. Nice. Look at you. You got to plan for everything. I do. It's almost like I planned for this. <laughs> You're playing a card game over there. Yeah. All right. There we go. All right. Hey, a That's win it. by any other name. That's right. <laughs> Welcome to Fable. <laughs> Look at you. And well, Dan Tech. Thanks for playing that guy who keeps conceding. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> but we saw that you, you laid the groundwork for a legit victory. So Yeah, uh, that was a good game. Absolutely. Sorry to that guy if you're watching this about yeah. those two matches. Exactly. Hey, and sorry to... Wait. Thank you for watching, <laughs> <Yeah>. everybody. <laughs> Get out there and fable. Fun. Yeah, this is out... Uh, it's today. Out today. To, to, yes. On personal computer and Xbox One home console. So Correct. there you go. Leo, thanks for recording this. My pleasure. Dan Tack, thank you for playing and showing off your, your tactical prowess. And to you, the viewer, thank you. Bye!